For super cookie consent GDPR compliance, you can now store records of users giving consent on your site in a database. Now, this is not mandatory in all of the countries that are under the GDPR. However, in some countries it is. And FinSuite cookie consent gives you the option to store these values so that you can demonstrate these if the authorities ask you one day. Now, if you're a technical person, please refer to our documentation where we show you how you can do this. If you're a non-technical person and you have no idea about APIs and how the things are working, then this video is for you where I'm gonna show you how to set this up in Cloudflare with simple copy-paste code. So the first thing you have to do is make a Cloudflare account. Uh, you're gonna go to Cloudflare, dot com and here you're gonna sign up once you created your account your dashboard will look like this the first thing you're gonna do here in the dashboard is click on workers and here you're gonna set up a subdomain so in this case i'll just call it emmanuel and i'll give it a number and here i'm gonna select the free plan Okay, and I'm going to send the email verification code. Once you confirm the email, you're going to get back to Cloudflare and here you can continue to dashboard. Now, the first thing you want to do is click back on workers. And here we're going to create a new KV. So we're going to click here on the KV tab and we're gonna create a new KV. Now you can call this anything you want. I'm gonna call it cookie consent here, like so, and I'm gonna add it. Okay, and here we have our cookie consent KV. Now the next thing we're gonna do is click on workers, and here we're gonna create a new worker. Now here we're having some boilerplate code, which we can delete. Next, we're gonna open a new tab and we can go to our FinSuite cookie consent here. Here, we're gonna click on storing consents for non-technical people. And here under create a worker, we're gonna open this dropdown over here. And below here, you have this code. We're gonna simply copy that and head back to Cloudflare and we're gonna paste the code here on line one. We can rename this to whatever we like, so we could call it cookie consent. All right, then we're gonna save this and deploy it. And we're gonna save. Once this is saved, we can click here on our back button. This here is our worker configuration page for the worker we just created. This is our cookie consent here. And the last thing we have to do here is click on settings and we have to bind the KV that we created previously with this worker. So we're gonna click here on add binding and here under variable name, this must be with uppercase and it needs to be set to consent. Like so, consents. And we're gonna bind this with our cookie consent KV. So all of our consents will be stored in the cookie consent database. We're gonna hit save here. And here we have our API endpoint. Now we're not gonna copy this value here. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna open this in another tab and the reason why we're doing this is because we need the whole url together with the https so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna head over to our cookie oven here we're gonna click on fin suite cookie consent script and we're gonna select the option for the cookie consent that we're using now on my site i'm using opt-in cookies so i'm gonna add my endpoint that i just created here 
If you wanted, you could change the expiration date. I'm going to leave it as it is on 180. And I'm simply going to click on bake cookies. What this is going to do is it's going to add this attribute to our script of FS CC endpoint with the value set to our endpoint. So we're going to copy this and we're going to paste this into our Webflow project. So let's head over to Webflow and I'm going to replace this with our newly baked script tag. I'm going to hit save. And now all I have to do is publish our site. As you can see here, if I'm changing my preferences and hitting save, this should be sent now to our API endpoint. So we should be able to see this in our KV. So let's click on our KV. Let's open our cookie consent KV here. And as we can see here, we're having two values submitted. And here we can see more details about this consent that was just submitted. We can see the anonymized IP address. We can see the domain on which the cookie consent was given here. Then we can also see which operating system they were using. And below here, we can see the cookies that the user gave consent to. So we can see that here, the user gave consent to analytics, essential marketing and personalization cookies. Also, at the end here, we can see all the copy that was in the cookie banner when the user was giving consent. And that's basically it. There, you can also download these entries and provide them to the authorities if you're ever asked to provide that. Now, for how long should you keep these records? Nobody knows for sure, but a safe bet would be for two years. If you found this video valuable, then consider giving us some love in the comments below and subscribing to our channel so that we can notify you when we release a new video. Cheers, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.